Okay, 29. This is another one where the anatomic site is really important. So I'll give you a, a clue for that here. What, what are we dealing with here? Well, I see this delicate skin filled with these goblet cells. Good. Which makes me think that this could be coming from uh, the eye. Yeah, good. This conjunctiva, right? It looks like really thin epidermis until we realize there's no stratum granulosum. There's no stratum corneum. So it's actually mucosa instead of actual skin um, uh, or epidermis. And then there are goblet cells. Sometimes they're abundant like this. Sometimes they're more rare. It kind of depends exactly on where exactly you're getting the sample from. But thin uh, stratified squamous mucosa with goblet cells is conjunctiva. Good. And then down in the subconjunctival, submucosa, I don't know what you call this. I, I get used to saying epidermis and dermis because that's what I look at all day long, but I guess technically this is a subconjunctival submucosa rather than dermis. But in any case, down in here, there's a ton of inflammation. So what what is going on, do you think? So I feel like the clinician was worried about this maybe irritated red spot, and they were thinking, gosh, could this be... Um, yeah, skin cancer or uh, inflammation that can cause a granulomatous process near the eye, which is called chalasia. Yeah. So what? Uh, much of this is kind of nonspecific, uh, like it's a bunch of lymphocytes, histiocytes. Uh, the, the classic finding that we want to see is actually like a lipogranuloma. So here we're getting some foamy histiocytes, so that's telling us there's probably some lipid around here. And down here we're actually getting some granuloma with kind of an open vaguely cleft-like space, so probably there was some lipid material in here that washed out during processing. So you can have variable amounts of lipid mixed with the granuloma. So lipogranuloma type pattern with brisk inflammation along the margin of the lid of the eye it is good for chalazion. Sometimes you can see fragments of the, uh, the mebomian gland, which is basically a large modified sebaceous gland uh, that's on the eyelid, and the, the function of those is to produce a sebaceous-like secretion that's oily. And I learned this from a colleague, uh, which I thought this was really cool, that the, the idea is that because it's oily, that secretion is, the, the point of the secretion is to float on top of the aqueous liquid on the surface of the cornea and to, to prevent it from evaporating. Now, I don't know if that's true, but that's what I was told with, to me by someone much smarter than me. And I thought that was really cool that that's why it's like lipid-based secretion that is supposed to cover over and try to help avoid evaporation of the of the, the aqueous portion of the tears so that it keeps the, the surface of the eye moist. And I thought that was quite cool because otherwise I was like, why are mebomian glands there? What do they do? Well, I guess that's what they do. But when they rupture, they produce a really brisk inflammatory response and that's a chalazion. And like you said, uh, red inflamed papular nodule in the eyelid could also be skin cancer either sebaceous carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma. So it is important that they uh, they wanted to make sure uh, that, that that's not, you know, that there was not a, a malignancy here. But sometimes you can see the fragments of a sebaceous gland in that. And so when that happens, there are times where I've not personally encountered a case, but I've heard from one of my ophthalmic pathology colleagues that when there are entrapped sebaceous elements in there, sometimes you can get, uh, people can get that confused with actually sebaceous carcinoma. So make sure to not do that because, you know, you may have some reactive atypia and then some actual sebacytes. So you want to make sure to not confuse sebaceous carcinoma and chalazion. All right. And I think the, uh, the, uh, uh, what is the other? Uh, oh, yeah. And you don't want to confuse this with a sty, which is like basically a, a kind of a ruptured folliculitis type, pro type process that's actually in the hair follicles on the margin of the of the lid. Um, so chalazion is a little different. It's from a rupture of the, the mevomian gland.